Is this the first time you've done the fashion thing here at Wicked? I did it in the summer before. It wasn't as good as this or made clothes, but we did some, something like this. Okay, so this time, what was the goal of the program? To make a three-piece outfit, accessories, a vest, and a skirt, and that and to make it look um, not really like regular clothing, it has to be couture. Okay, and you had you had restrictions on what kind of material you could use, right? We had to use recycled things, including plastic bags and uh, like this freeze bottle you had to use. And we had to do it like kind of like older things in three weeks. Wow. So are you happy with how you're doing that? Yeah, I'm actually kind of nervous. I'm <laughs> like going out there, like if it was going to break or something. Okay. And, uh, First on the runway, we have our model listed. We're in Cassie, uh, Cassie Wynn's collection titled Autumn. Cassie selected the materials and colors to emphasize her subject statement, the season of fall. The piece shows such an imaginary fashion effect with flowing wings and ethereal materials. Next we have Cassie Jones, wearing her own collection titled At first Cassie felt this project was a bit of a challenge, but by the end she said it was all worth it. This piece shows a lot of historical details combined with recycled materials to create an imaginary costume. <laughs> Notice the flow. Next, we have Helen wearing her own collection titled Cones of cloth and paper are incorporated in details in the body and the bodice, and then again flowing down onto the train of the beautiful flowing dress. Next, we have Sydney wearing her own collection titled Read Me. This challenging piece of a floating skirt cape took several hours of development to create showing the challenge to be a spectacular spectacle. <laughs> Next, we have model Brittany wearing Kimberly's collection titled Falling Gold. This amazing piece glitters with gold doubloons and a patchwork of black and white fine fabrics. wearing Marquisha's collection titled Bloom. This amazing and detailed outfit with meaningful aspects, all made of recycled materials, including the balloon skirt made out of found movie film strips. That's how it glitters. It's amazing. Next we have Kazlyn wearing her own collection titled Ties of Equality. This, 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 piece empowers, uh, this piece embodies power of feminine equality through the combining of gents, ties, and vest. With a great pink and black cinched shopping bag skirt. A smashing combination for the statement of equality in the 21st century. Dress form is by Micah Irving, titled Fancy Trash. This classic pencil um, pencil skirt with a slight asymmetrical A-line on it um, is a common, um, has a classic look, a classic retro look. The paper sleeves, um, beading, and florets generate a simplistic yet chic style. Big round of applause for our Thank you for watching our collection. And another one for our designers. Thank you and have a great
great evening. So did you like it? Yeah, I like the idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's amazing. The design is um, it's mostly it's cone. So how did, how did you decide to make that? Did you decide to make the material because you love making cones with paper? Yeah. Or? Yeah. So yes. did you enjoy the class? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Very, I do. Thank you so much. Oh, you <laughs> My design came from like came mostly from my mom because um, she's been working really hard and she's a woman, so this is like, women can work in kitchens and everything, but they can also do a man's job. The bags, I got them from um, my house. <laughs> uh, they're recyclable. <clears throat> the skirt, I got it at Goodwill. It's cheap. Um, we had a, um, what did, how do you say? Six dollars. Yeah, six dollars. And um, the vest, I got it from here, Wimcat, and the ties also. Uh, I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do. I um, found this vest at Goodwill. It was kind of boring, um, and it was sort of big, so I used that to my advantage, and I put a whole bunch of these things on. Uh, I didn't really know how to go with the skirt, though, so I just decided on a big billowy thing. I didn't plan on it looking like something olden day-ish, but it turned out really, really awesome the, when it did. And I was at home, and I finished the skirt, and so I found this old hat that, I don't know, I bought a long time ago, and I never really wore it, so. For quite a while, a lot of the students have been asking about a fashion class, and since I am the fiber arts instructor, I decided to incorporate it into a Project Junkway class that we experimented with in a um, summer session this past summer, 2011. And we took it from there, so this is our very first full 12-week uh, class that um, created above and beyond what I had imagined um, to have happened. 